Hey guys, it's Purple Dolphin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be leading you through an Easter themed stretch routine. So let's just go ahead and get started. To make this a little more Easter and spring themed, I put Easter eggs around my yoga mat. For the first stretch, we are just going to do two big neck circles in each direction. Once you are done with your neck circles, we are just going to do a shoulder stretch, pulling one arm to the side. Now just do that same stretch with the other arm. You can now get out of that stretch and for the next stretch we are going to do a butterfly stretch. In our butterfly stretch just try to push your legs towards the ground. You can stop pushing your legs to the ground and then reach up and reach forward to feel a very deep stretch in your hips. You can now stand up and then put your legs a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and then reach to one side. Now reach down your leg to feel a very deep stretch in your hamstring. You can rotate your torso to reach towards the center. Now we are just going to reach down the opposite leg. You can now stand up and we are just going to repeat that reaching to the side stretch that we did at the beginning. You can now come up from that position and then bend your legs to go into a plie squat. You can now rotate your hips and straighten one leg to go into a lunge position. In the lunge position, keep your chest up. You can now place your elbows on the ground and then reach up with the leg that is closest to your knee.
You can now rotate through to the center and then we are just going to repeat those stretches with the other leg. You can now place your elbows on the ground and then reach up with the arm that is closest to your knee. You can now place your legs in front of you and we are going to do a pike stretch. Now you can go into a straddle position and in our straddle position we are just going to reach over top one of our legs. You can now reach over top the other leg. And now you can reach to the center. You can now come up from that position and for the next stretch we are just going to go into our knees. Once you are on your knees then you can arch back grabbing onto your ankles. If you are not feeling too much of a stretch here then you can reach overhead to grab onto your feet. Now you can come up and we are just going to do a child's pose. You can now lay on your back and for the next stretch we are just going to push up into a bridge. If you can't do a bridge then just push up into a glute bridge. You can now come out of that stretch and we are just going to take a 10 second rest.
You can now push back up into your bridge and then walk your hands and feet as close as they can go. Once they are as close as they can go, then try to look in between your legs and arch your back even further. You can stand up, kick over, or lay down from that stretch and then go into a downward dog. For our final stretch, just put your hands and feet closer together to do a pike stretch for 10 seconds. That was our final stretch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope to see you in another one of my videos or shorts. Bye guys!